Hey folks, welcome back to Nutrition Made Simple, a video series that we created that takes a look at ideas surrounding natural health topics, and then we break them down into easy to understand and actionable steps. My name is Brian Strickland. I'm joined today by Katie Coyne. She is the co-owner of Nutrition World. And on today's episode, we're going to take a look at the Dirty Dozen. And no, we're not talking about the old war movie. We're talking about <laughs> foods and foods that are highly contaminated by pesticides. This is a list that comes out every year by an organization. I'm going to let Katie tell you a little bit about. Um, but we wanted to cover it because we think it's important. Mm -hmm. um, and it's some information that you may not know. And then we're going to take a look at some clean foods that you don't have to worry about as much. So... With that being said, Katie, can you tell us a little about EWG and what the Dirty Dozen is? Definitely. So the EWG is the Environmental Working Group. It's a nonprofit organization that does a lot of uh, research to look at household items, um, beauty care items, a little bit of supplements, but a lot about food to see what food is actually clean, what may be not so clean, and kind of help break it down for us all. One of their most helpful things that they have been doing since I believe it's 2004 has been releasing this list called the Dirty Dozen. It is the 12 most contaminated um, foods if they are not bought organic. So these this means conventionally raised um, fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. One reason they can be a little bit more contaminated is they may be a little more porous. Um, they may be a little bit more susceptible to having insects on them. So the growers are using a higher rate of insecticides and pesticides in order to grow these crops. Okay, so yeah. that's a list of 12 items. Those are going to be ones that you want to buy organic. And we will put that list in this so you guys have it. I want to read out just a few of them here, but it's basically um, strawberries, spinach, kale, um, apples, grapes, nectarines, bell peppers, cherries, peaches, pears, and tomatoes. Yeah, so all my favorites, basically. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so that's going to be something that you want to go shop for organically. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, the other thing they do on the flip side is they put out a list called um, the Clean 15. The Clean 15 are items that you actually don't have to shop organic for because they almost have no pesticide or insecticides used or no residue left on them. So you cool. can safely consume those without the worry of toxic buildup. Yeah. And we'll put those down in the description we as well. Um, so I think the question is that most people have is... Are pesticides really that big of a deal? Mm -hmm. If I'm going to the grocery store and I'm just picking up an apple or um, a peach, you know, or, or one of those listed mm -hmm. on there, how big of a deal is it that those pesticides exist? It's a big deal. It is. So over the years, more pesticides, more insecticides are having to be used because the pests are kind of growing stronger and more, um, more resilient. And so really they're attacking certain species, certain crops a lot more. The more we use those things, the more we kind of just have to keep using them. And so at this level, when we are, you know, introduced to so many toxins in our food and in our skincare and our um, beauty care and hair care and all those things I always talk about, this toxic buildup idea. It's just one more place that we could find something toxic. Mm -hmm. And so health studies have shown that even though you are getting the benefit of the fruits and the vegetables, you are limiting the benefit if you are getting a high level of pesticides and insecticides. Yeah, 70% mm -hmm. of all the produce in American grocery stores are contaminated by pesticides. Yeah. So this is a big deal. Yeah. Um, we will always encourage like buying organic, buying mm -hmm. local if possible, or growing it yourself so you have complete control, which is becoming a reality for a lot of people. I yeah. know during the pandemic, that was a project that our family had was creating garden in our backyard and growing a mm -hmm. lot of these foods that are listed on yeah. the Dirty Dozen. Um, so on the topic of detox, I know that you wanted to mention just a little bit about that and why... Mm -hmm doing some sort of detox is a good idea annually or, you know, consistently during your daily yeah, routine. Yeah, definitely. So when I first entered this um, holistic realm, I didn't think we had a detox. I kind of thought our, our body does it naturally, which is true. Okay. If we eat well, then what do we really need to detox from? That's not true. There's enough research out showing that we do accumulate toxins. We mm -hmm. just do. Our body becomes burdened by the level of everything, water, skincare, hair care, beauty care, food, all of it that I've mentioned. So I'm a huge fan of doing a cellular detox. Now I'll talk further in another video about that. Mm -hmm. We sell some amazing cellular detoxes at our store, but that's going to be support for the kidneys, the uh, liver, the lungs, the bloodstream, the respiratory tract, all of these processes of our body that are working so hard. It's going to give it a little bit of aid to help push anything that could have been stagnant or staying in our system. Yeah. And then something like 
like a greens drink or something like exactly. that would be a good idea as well. Yep, definitely. So a green superfood drink, we don't get enough greens daily. And if you get an organic greens drink, you know you're not getting any more pesticides or residues like that. But greens naturally have a detoxifying property because of the chlorella, the spirulina, and those really deep green colors actually help chelate out heavy metals and toxins. So that's kind of my daily way to detox. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go, guys. We hope this was helpful. Hopefully you learned something new. Mm -hmm. And of course, like and subscribe for more content just like this. Hit the notification bell and you will get that delivered straight to you. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you next time on Nutrition Made Simple. Take care.